everyone. After so long, I am here to discuss a point of Chebyshev spacing from the unit of synthesis of mechanism of theory of motion to, or we can say the dynamic of machines. Now, before we start the concept of Chebyshev spacing and what is this equation and how to solve the numerical based on it, we are just going to discuss an uh, important point which is related with the Chebyshev spacing that is precision position. And as the name indicates, precision position is nothing but the accuracy point to getting accuracy point or what are the accuracy points or precision points in a mechanism now suppose we have the four bar mechanism and we can say that it is a function generation that means y is equal to f of x what does it means when x is the angular position of input link and y is the position of output link then synthesize the mechanism of input and output link relation shift fits the function of y is equal to f of x now uh, generally it is not follow uh, that mechanism always follows the, this mathematical equation but some points are follows the mathematical equation exactly and those point is called as precision points now let me show you one graph so here we have uh, i just drawn it um, here we have the x y plane where we have the x position of input link y positions of output links and here we have a red line or red path which is prescribed from and the dotted one is nothing but actual generated path and this point where this prescribed function and actual generated path meets are the precision points let's say p0 p1 p2 p n plus 1 okay and these points are follow the exact mathematical function so this points is called as precision points now how those points follow the exact mathematical function see the prescribed function is follow with this and the actual function meets or intersect prescribed at this precision point so that this point is known as precision points or accuracy point where they can follow the exact mathematical function let us say y is equal to f of x okay and those point is called as precision point now uh, generally we use this Chebyshev spacing uh, which is the best spacing of the precision points for the first trial so that uh, we are going to discuss this Chebyshev spacing. Now, uh, it is directly started with the formula xj is equal to 1 half xf plus xs minus of 1 half xf minus of xs into cos of pi 2j minus 1 divided by 2n. Okay, uh, let, me, let me explain what is the term xj and so on where xj is precision points xf is the finishing position that is final position of x then xf xs is the starting position then delta x is a range xf minus of xs j is precision points so 1 2 3 up to n and n is total number of precision points okay so okay so here is a question synthesize a linkage to generate the function y is equal to x raised to 1.1 .1 over the range of 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 3 using three precision positions so i just wrote uh, given data where we have this range so xs which is starting position is 1 xf in position is 3 so delta x range is 3 minus of 1 is equal to 2 then j again within the range j is equal to precision position so 1 2 3 we can take any number of points within this range 1 1.1 1 1.2 and so on so uh, i'll just take 1 2 3 points then using three precision positions so n is equal to 3 we need to do for three precision positions so uh, just let me write the formula we have formula xj is equal to one half xs plus x xf minus of one half 
x f minus of x s into cos of pi 2 j minus 1 divided by 2 n. So let's just put the value. So firstly let's just write for x1 then x2 and then x3. So for x1 what does it be? Uh, 1 half x f. So let me put the value. It is 1. Sorry x s is 1. x f is 3 minus 1 half. 3 minus of 1 into cos of pi 2 j is now 1 minus of 1 divided by 2 into 3 n is 3 ok and how to get this answer of x1 so we will just do this calculation with the help of Kelsey and cos of this term should be multiply with 180 by pi because we have to convert this cos into degree and then only we will get the exact answer so this term should be multiplied by 180 by pi so the answer is 1.133 you just use the Kelsey and verify it now let me write for x2 so again it is 1 half 1 plus 3 minus of 1 half 3 minus of 1 into only this term will be changed by 2 into 2 that is j is 2 now minus 1 divided by 2 into 3 and into 180 by 5 bracket close and the answer is 2 ok we will just use the calcium similarly for x3 So I wrote here. So I wrote here, and the answer is 2.866. Okay, x3. And now, as we get the x1, x2, and x3, let's just calculate y1, y2, and y3. How we are going to calculate y1 and y2, y3? So y is the function of x raised to 1.1. So y1 is equal to x1 raised to 1.1 so it's equal to 1.133 raised to 1.1 and the answer is 1.147 similarly y2 and y3 so 2 raised to 1.1 so it is 2.143 2.866 is the value of x3 raised to 1.1 it is 3.184 this is how we can able to find out the precision position of x and y.